<laughs> it's called Hit and Run. Hey, I got it. Alan Thick. Is that about the longest intro you've ever had? My last series didn't last as long as that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm working under an additional hazard or something here. I don't know. Everything went at once. Did you ever have nights like that where nothing is just... <laughs> hey, a whole year. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry about that. Just a blur. I didn't mean to bring up old um, Perry Mason. Yes. That was a big hit. How long did Perry Mason, the original series, run? About eight or nine years? Eleven, I think. Eleven, Eleven years. Eleven, and now he's back again. Well, they've done a few Perry Mason yeah. films, and the one on Sunday night at 9 o'clock is the most recent uh, of those. That's the one that you, of course, hold. I am in it, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you and have a big part, don't you? It's the sh well, I, I have an important part. It's not a big part. I, I play the you? role of a wildly successful talk show host. Yes. It's a, a, bit, it's a bit of a stretch for oh. me. <laughs> and, uh, but what happens is that I get uh, murdered Ah, there's on an the idea. Air. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right after the monologue. I... I get... Yeah. Is this based on any particular... Well, <laughs> well there... I, on my series, there were nights I would have shot myself. Yeah. But so you're out was, and you're, you're shot. And, and then I'm gone. This yeah. Is, uh, and they, they talk about me and they solve the mystery. Aren't there flashbacks uh, where you appear after that? Yes, yes. Uh, posthumously, I'm in the rest of the film. That's not bad. Was it fun? It was, yes. It was, uh, uh, it was my first heavy dramatic role since The Love Boat. Uh, <laughs> uh, How did you get on Love Boat? Aren't you a little young for Love Boat? Well, they, they have, thank you, but they have, di they have different ages. I played a jilted senator, and uh, once I played a, a spurned accountant, and I spurned once played, accountant. yeah, I once played a perpetual alimony victim. On, uh, I must have been yeah. busy. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking, yeah. So, but the, the the new film that you kindly refer to, Hit and Run, is a is a courtroom yeah, drama. Nine o'clock. It I is, guess. yeah. Sure. But um, <laughs> you've had other. Have you ever done any other films as such? Well, none that you'd care to see. I did a film um, a few years ago in which I played a professional downhill ski racer. It was called Silver Arrow, and uh, for, for but, a legitimate, I mean, a yeah. regular. But they couldn't sell. In color sell. and everything? And... Color and several cameras and uh, <laughs> hills. And... But they couldn't sell the film, so the director went in and reshot some scenes to enhance the plot. Uh -huh. And coincidentally, these scenes were all done in a hot tub. And uh, uh -huh. so when you actually see the film, you don't really see me downhill racing. You see some topless snow bunnies saying, he's so fast, look at him go. And... and... <laughs> And uh, they had a, a distributor like that. This they, was an exploitation film. Yeah, well, it turned out to be. They changed the title from Silver Arrow to Club Bosom or something. Oh, come and on. I, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's now on video cassette. Well, did that you ever can, show in this, in, here? Uh, at my place once or twice, but I... <laughs> why, but, didn't, uh, why didn't you bring a copy of that in? Next time you're here, why don't you see if you can get it? A little excerpt of that, if you can get it cleared. You probably don't want my part. No, no, of course no. not. <laughs> the hot tub stuff. Yeah. We have to do this. We're coming right back. Stay where you are. <laughs> Back. Talking with Alan Fitz, Rosanna Arquette, Oprah Winfrey. Did somebody... Well, that's still annoying. Did somebody find out what that... that particular trouble was when you, when you reverse letters in a word? Looking. We're all looking. I don't know why I'm, I'm stuck on that now, but I'll, I'll, I won't sleep tonight unless I solve that. That's another problem. What's that? Not sleeping tonight. But I know that's called insomnia. Oh, I know that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any, speaking, do you have any phobias at all? I mean, real phobias, an unnatural fear of... Anything. Uh, no, Claustrophobia. Not any, it has uh, not fear, of heights. fear of heights, believe it or not. I used to be a, just afraid of fear, and I've it's, overcome that. There's a name for that, too. We'll look that up. Look that up while you're at it. <laughs> Two researchers. Uh, you know what tristedecophobia is? Fear, tristedecophobia? The fear of the number 13. It's an actual phobia. There are some weird ones. Well, you have the one you have? I don't want to even talk about it. Nyctophobia. We've been through that so many times. Alan doesn't know it. No, I got here late. It's, uh, well... <laughs> it's a fear of, um, being naked and running full speed backwards into a brass doorknob. 
It's a, a little known. Oh, that one. It's a little known phobia, and we bring it up ever so often just to, yeah. to keep the thing going. Well, there's a telethon for that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What does the board you, say? Uh, but aren't you, how about, if you were walking down the street and you came to a crack or a ladder, would you step on the crack? Do you remember the thing as a kid? I'm not that superstitious personally. I, I, would, I would step right through the crack. Of course, I went on the air against you for a year, no, too, no, no, so I, I have... <laughs> well, you're unusual I'm... if you don't have any kind of superstitions or phobias. I don't think so. No, I no. think I'm not that much of a fatalist. I, yeah. I like to think we are self-determining our lives, there's for better name, or for there's worse. There's a name for that, too. Yes, oh. that's uh, look that Look that up. That's uh, making just... Ah, uh, we have it. We have, we have the information. We don't have the information. No. <laughs> there's a, there's a, like somebody the who's a phobia about his job now. <laughs> well, when you get the information, give me the information. Peter Laurie and that one. What? The current thought is it's aphasia, but they're not sure. That's what I said, aphasia. Is that aphasia? That's they heard it. Okay, all right. But we're not sure, are we? Well, but I feel better just yeah, being sure. able to answer that. Okay, moving along in this bombastic review, uh, I hear that you're going to do a photo for Playgirl magazine? Is this true? Playgirl it is, yes. I'm the cover boy in... Playgirl? Uh, in February, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. An honor that comes to few people. Well, uh, this is a particular honor because it happens to be the first issue ever of uh, Playgirl's new policy of no nudity. So uh, I, I'm not sure how to take that, but I'm the, <laughs> so I'm the, I'm the poster boy for putting your clothes on for them. And uh, that's unusual. Why did they, uh, why did they do that? Because of the getting. Uh, uh, I don't know. I guess it's just changing an image. Yeah. You know, uh, we've seen a lot of shots of uh, guys out in the woods, you know, chopping wood in the mm -hmm. snow with their shirt off. And yeah. uh, the guys who are doing it look like they wouldn't be out chopping wood either. You know. <laughs> no, but they'll that tree. Um, yeah. <laughs> But, well, but they're good-looking guys. They, yeah. Yeah. Of course they are. They do look good. By the time they, whatever that magical lens is they use, yeah. these guys all look good. And I didn't uh, pose naked well, no, uh, in the I magazine. I um, that you would. No, well, I, Come on, I, no, I have my standards, and they didn't ask me. Oh. So, <laughs> so apparently they have standards of their own. You, and would maybe not have, you wouldn't have done that anyway, you know that. No, I, I, I would have been uncomfortable. Well, didn't but you I do a calendar you, once? Or about that? There was a calendar out on yeah. buns or something? I was in the... Uh, the there night. was. There was a men's buns, they called it. I was Mr. January. You're in kidding. The, uh, <laughs> in the 1984 buns calendar. Are you yeah. serious? Well, yes, but I did, once again, I did it for laughs, which is a sad commentary when you get laughs and you take your... But I didn't take... I didn't no. show my buns. Some guys were showing the whole bakery there. Yeah. There was a... <laughs> <laughs> You get up to August, and, uh, and there's a guy chopping wood Mr. without his January. pants on now. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, but uh, I can't. I couldn't do that now. I'm a I'm a sitcom dad, and you That's don't. That's the whole know. image, you know. You didn't Family see so far. Robert Young mooning the coffee machine or anything. No. This is. Uh, I have to. certain images would have been absolutely destroyed. Yeah. Robert Young. And and in those magazines, I think too. You know, you don't want to invite comparison. That's true. I think that. That's uh, true. Enough of that. You yeah. Know, you've, uh, anybody who said that all men are created equal never Not... saw Lyle Alzado in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I have no burning desire to yeah. see Lyle no. Alzado. Well, I did. It's not high on my an, priorities. No, it's an honor, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think Queskin's amazing? I. <laughs> you're, I you're, you're talking industrial strength. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Enough said that about page. that. I think we painted a picture for you. <laughs> and while you're while you're thinking about that picture, we'll take a break and we'll come back. <laughs> Show you where we... <clears throat> okay. Let me show you where we stand currently in the, uh, the vocabulary here. <laughs> Apparently, it's not aphasia. Aphasia is not recognizing words because of usually from brain damage. This business I'm talking about, of turning words around, a gentleman in the audience thought it was apraxis, but I'm not sure of that either. So we're going to keep on that, and we'll find John, out. Yeah. According to a doctor person at St. Joe's... Yeah. It's a form of dyslexia. No, there's a separate name for this. <clears throat> dyslexia is an ability to understand when you're reading. Another opinion. Second opinion. But there is, here. get another opinion. <laughs> and tell the doctor to call me back in the morning. <laughs> and it's a two aspirin. We're gonna, we're gonna get to the root of this. Uh, I don't know why, <laughs> but it doesn't, don't you get, when you get on something like this, and I, it's funny because I was reading about this the other day. I don't think it's, I, well, we'll find out what it is. 
There was another word that was in the same list. Echolalia. You know what that is? Echolalia? You've done it. You've done We've all done echolalia. The fear of saying something again? You're very close. What it is is what children do, mimicking what has just been said. Remember when you drive your brother or sister nuts, they'd say, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? <laughs> and they, and they'd, he'd answer, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? And you want to get the last one in? Mm -hmm. You can keep awake all night doing that. It's like, so, remember you'd be in bed, good night, good night, good night. All right, stop it. All right, stop it. <laughs> That's called echolalia. And we're going to find out what this is called in a moment. My watch just came off because my ear. <laughs> you're, uh, you're very well. I, I lost so much blood that my wrist went smaller. <laughs> I'm working with a quart low, you understand. Here. Anybody with AB positive blood here? I'm AB positive, which is apparently a, a rare type. What type of blood are you? Do you remember? I don't know. I have echolalia. Nobody will take my blood. Nobody will take my blood. Nobody will take, Nobody will take my blood. Nobody Nobody will take my blood. You see? All right, no. stop it. No. Okay, stop it. Now you say. You stop. Okay, stop it. Stop. Stop. Uh, oh. Okay. Just let me just excuse me a second, folks. You know, I do that. The stage hands will cop that. <laughs> Yeah. Is this based on any particular? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, there, I, on my series, there were nights I would have shot myself. Yeah. But so you're out was, and you're you're shot, and and then I'm gone. This yeah. Is, uh, and they they talk about me and they solve the mystery. Aren't there flashbacks uh, where you appear after that? Yes, yes. Uh, the series didn't last as long as that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm working under an additional hazard or something here. I don't know. Everything went at once. Do you ever have nights like that where nothing is just? <laughs> hey, a whole year. Oh, yeah. Sorry Just about a that. Blur. I didn't mean to bring up old um, Perry Mason. Yes. That was a big hit. How long did Perry Mason, the original series, run? About eight or nine years? Eleven, I think. Eleven. Eleven, Eleven, years. Eleven and now he's back again. Well, they've done a few Perry Mason yeah. films, and the one on Sunday night at nine o'clock is the most recent. Uh, of those. That's the one that you, of course, were. I am in it, yes. Uh -huh. Well, you <laughs> have a big part, don't you? It's the well, I, I have an important part. It's, <laughs> it's called Hit and Run. Hey, I got it. Alan Thick. Is that about the longest intro you've ever had? <laughs> My last, not a big part. I, I what, play the role of a wildly successful talk show host. Yes. It's a, a, bit, it's a bit of a stretch for me. <laughs> and, uh, but what happens is that I get uh, murdered ah, there's on an the idea. air. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, right after the monologue. I, 